All right, hey, what's going on, guys? So I just wanted to encourage you guys with this. The Lord was just reminding me today of so many souls and so many people that are not able to progress. They're not able to move forward because of their pride, essentially. And I uh, was reminded of two prophetic dreams that I had. I've shared both of them before, but one of them, I was at an airport. And if you remember, I was walking through the um, the security checkpoint. I saw so many people going through. I was one of the first to go through. I looked back and I saw a lot of people that were still uh, waiting on the other side, some in line to move through and others were just standing there. They were standing there, hesitant, unable to want to move forward. Uh, they were all just, um, he, whether they were mocking and just saying, nah, you guys go ahead, or they just had a lot of reservation. For whatever, re whatever reason, there was a lot of people that were just waiting there. I have also had another one where I shared that I uh, was on a train and we were stopping at multiple stations and this train representing the move of God, right? A lot of people were getting on the train, we were stopping at different stations. And whenever we stopped at a certain station to pick people up, there were some people that were just standing there. They're standing there, unable to uh, want to get on the train. Uh, they were just pointing in all directions, just um, you know, saying things. Their mouth was moving, but their feet weren't weren't moving. Their feet were just planted still. And I was reminded of, of those two uh, dreams, and I was just uh, thinking about how so many people right now though they uh, may or may not want to uh, do the kingdom of uh, do the work for the kingdom of God or whether they think they are but because of their inability to see uh, beyond themselves essentially uh, they're not moving forward and many of us right now whether you're dealing with people that are like that or whether you um, may unknowingly be that kind of person because you're holding on to uh, your past culture, you're holding on to um, theology or teaching or life principles that you believe are biblical, but they aren't. Or you're, for whatever reason, um, just hesitant to lay your life down completely. You may have surrendered your life uh, partially, maybe even 99%, but God is looking for that 1%, uh, that little bit, whatever it is, whether it's um, to give up some habit, to kick a, a habit down, uh, a certain friend, a person, or whatever it is. But just like the Proverbs say, just like Second Peter says, that uh, like a dog running to his own vomit, returning to his own vomit, is like a fool, right? Uh, repeating his own uh, folly. And so for many people, you don't realize it, but you're in bondage, you're clouded from moving forward, from progressing, from going towards what God wants you to be going towards. But because we don't analyze and reflect on ourselves, we don't take a look, take a step back to see those small things. And I'm not talking about even the biggest sins and the big, huge things, but the pride that gets in the way of your decision making and your ability to focus because you're so hooked on the small things and you tell yourself no it's okay i can i can live with this i i'm i'm okay to do um uh, god's calling with with this in my life and it's a small habit it's a small sin it's a small addiction it's something that is keeping you from fully devoting yourself to the lord and you know what that is and for many people the uh, holy spirit has been tugging on your heart and uh, the lord has been asking you and he's been sending people, he's been bringing you all these things to give you that signal, that affirmation, but you refuse to listen because your pride and because of your inability to see that you have to let go, you have to move forward from that so that you can get on the train, that you can go through the security checkpoint to get to the other side and to move forward. And for you to get to your destiny, for you to get to where God wants you to be, you have to kick that habit. You have to move on from that person, from that addiction, from that uh, theology that you believe was um, the, the right thing to do, but really it was just a preference. It was just a, uh, a way, one way to do something, but it wasn't 
the absolute right way to do something. And whatever that, that is for uh, each and every one of you, uh, the point is that God is looking at you. He's looking at your habits. He's looking at your surrender and saying it's not enough. You think it is, but you're holding on to this one thing. And just like the Israelites, right? There are some Israelites that were told to utterly wipe, or the, all the Israelites were told in certain battles to utterly destroy uh, certain things. But some Israelites, they were lustful with their eyes and they took some silver and some gold and some treasures. They hid it underneath their tent and then uh, they were found out and then they were punished. They were eaten up by the, the, the earth. It swallowed open. And, and, and devoured them, right? And same goes, so many of us, we don't realize it, but these things are devouring us because we're so lustful, we're so, we're so much in pride from letting go of this. And so um, whatever that is for you, uh, you know, and if you've been praying about it, if you've been asking the Lord about it, this might be confirmation, this might be just a gentle reminder again to look at that because you can't fully commit to the Lord without letting everything go without being completely surrendered to him and in all these things. And so evaluate, examine, and see, are you one of those people that has their feet planted firmly on the ground and you're not able to move because of the weight, because of the pride, because of the inability to be uh, mobile and to move? Whatever that is for you, take a hard look because we have to constantly examine our hearts. We have to constantly examine where it is that God wants us to be. But to get there, we have to look at ourselves, we have to look at our choices, our behaviors, and all these things. And it's your choice, because God gives it to us as free will. It's your choice to act on it and to make those moves so that God can properly use you, He can properly elevate you. And He has great plans. He has great and big things for you in this upcoming season and in this next um, uh, page turn of life. But you have to make that choice. You have to be the one that consciously says, it'll cost me. I need to surrender and I, I need to let it go so that I can move forward in Jesus' name. And so think about it, pray about it, and just consider that. And if you don't know that in your life, maybe you have to examine and say, what is it that's keeping me down? What is it that I'm holding on to? Where's my pride? Where's my lust going towards? Is, is that something small or is that something big that's consuming my time, my energy, my efforts? It could be people. It could be uh, certain choices of how uh, we spend our time with activities. Uh, it could be other things, right? And so I think about it, pray about it, and allow that to just um, sink in and overwhelm you so that you can make that choice to move forward. God bless you guys. I'll talk to you guys very soon.